Spain's biggest theme park resort is getting ready to open its latest attraction. Porventura, known for several amazing roller coasters, attractions, and more recently Ferrari Land, will open a new coaster. This time, a first for the resort, as it will be a dark ride coaster. Let's explore everything about the brand new Uncharted ride coming to Spain. Oh boy! Hey everyone, and welcome to the Main Street News. If you're new to the channel and are interested, make sure to subscribe and join our community on Twitter and Discord. Links are in the description. We also have a Patreon page if you want to support what we do even more. Now, let's go into it. Portaventura, a park that opened in 1995, has an incredible history after being bought and sold by Universal, the same company that's rumored to be looking at the resort once again. In 2017, the resort saw a big expansion with Ferrari Land, which acts as a resort's second gate, and now they are looking to the Wild West for their newest attraction, which will be the first Uncharted ride in the world. But what exactly does Uncharted have to do with the Wild West? We'll get to that in a minute. Uncharted was a movie starring Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg as the main characters, where the audience follows them around the world as they try to uncover a huge lost treasure from the expedition of Fernão Magalhães, a Portuguese explorer which was the first voyage around the world. Now, how exactly does this fit into the Wild West? What you might not know is that Uncharted is a series of single and multiplayer games these cover a lot of themes, not just the expedition previously mentioned. Now, according to a quick Google search, none of the games take place in a western town or setting, so why did they choose this location and how will it play out in the endgame? It could be that the new attraction creates a new storyline using the characters we already know and put them in a new environment. This would be perfect as guests will be completely unaware of the story points, which will play a huge part, as this will indeed be a themed dark ride coaster. Now that you know all this, let's get into bigger detail of what is being built at this very moment. As you now know, this ride will be located in the Wild West land of the park, so let's start with how the story will play out. Because of the several teasers and information, the story is becoming clearer. The western town is called Penitence, and this also expands into the wild western themed hotels, which are part of the overall story of it all. I'm getting distracted. The western town is called Penitence, and in the mountains surrounding this town, there's one that stands out from the others. Portaventura shared a concept art of the facade and entrance, and here it is. You can clearly see a big resemblance of the Monument Valley in the US which also inspired Disney's classic coaster Big Thunder Mountain, but it's what's inside that matters the most, as a treasure may be hidden beneath the rocky formations, inside old and abandoned mines. We don't have a lot of information of the actual storyline, but I'd say it'll be the classic treasure hunt with booby traps, sudden drops and, at the end, a glorious treasure. Coming back to the outside, we can see a skull of what looks to be a Native American person but with some South American feel, which is very strange. Hopefully, it will all be explained in the ride. So, how exactly will this story be told? Well, for that, we can enter the more detailed information available. Porventura partnered with several brands to make this attraction. Sony for the rides and possibly imagery used inside the ride, Intamin, the famous roller coaster designer and manufacturer, and, at last, Sally Dark Rides, a company well known for their dark rides and who already also worked with Portaventura when creating the resort's first dark ride, Street Mission. With these, they have been able to design everything and have released official information saying that in the ride there will be a lot of special effects, projection screens and even animatronics. The queue and pre-show will also be very immersive and will put guests in the mood and up to date with the storyline of the attraction. If we had to compare what the experience will be like with another 
already existing attraction, I would do so with Universal's The Mummy, which resembles much of what this ride will have, from the very immersive locations and effects to the thrilling launches and sudden drops. With all these effects and immersive surroundings, I have almost forgotten the ride itself, so let's explore it. Some months ago the layout was reportedly leaked, so we can see what the ride will look like. With just shy of 700 meters of track and 5 launch sections, this coaster will be packed with thrills. This is what it will look like, and we start here, in the loading and unloading station. After starting and taking a turn, the vehicle goes down, gaining a little bit of speed and after one more turn, we reach a turning table. Here, the tracks switch position and we slowly move forward before gaining more speed by going backwards. We then reach this high point and then gain even more speed to go through that hill. In this section, there are several turns and drops, all these in high speed, which will get your heart rate up. Then we reach another speed section where the trains gain more momentum in order to reach the highest point of the coaster. Here I would say the vehicle is moving slowly before plunging down the big drop. After that last heart dropping section we reach the station once again. Now that you know what the ride will be like, let's check on the construction. Orventura still hasn't officially announced the opening day or even month for Uncharted, but only the year 2023. I would say they are looking for a summer opening, but how is it coming together? Well, the ride will be held inside a big show building, so we can't really see what's inside from the park. But as I've been showing throughout the video, Porventura shared some construction updates filmed inside, which gives us an idea of how it looks. Or looked, because the videos are some months old now. The outside looked like a big concrete box, and that was like that for a while. Some weeks ago, the installation of the themed facade started, and we can now start to see how they are translating the concept art into a reality. It's safe to say that these huge new mountains will give a new feeling to the land, and really immerse you in a wild west town even more. So far, the majority of the facade is still to be added, but new pieces appear each day. So, some weeks from now, it should be complete, and I can't wait to see how it will look like. Sally Dark Ride says they're incredibly thrilled that Portaventura has called on the Sally team once more to bring another world-class attraction to their park. It's going to be a one-of-a-kind adventure with the action, thrills and humor that the Uncharted brand is well known for. And from what I've seen, this will be an amazing addition, as it's a first for the resort as they try to build more indoor attractions, and the coaster dark ride hybrid truly is a great way to do it. This is one of the projects I'm most looking forward to, and if you're too, make sure to comment down below as I love to chat with you guys. That's it for this week's video, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy it, also, make sure to check my other Port Aventura video where I try to uncover some huge rumors about a possible takeover of the resort. Thank you so much for watching and to our patrons for supporting the channel even more. And now, as always, that's a wrap.